terrifying. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was See? really a terror in train town. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was my audition for You're the hired. Bloodshed Brothers Terror in Train Town. Bloodshed Brothers, we have Zach and Jeremy, and we are in Terror in Train Town. And you guys have two haunts this year, right? Yes, yes. This is brand new to you guys, right? Yes, first year here, first year doing High Street on this magnitude, first year doing Darkness on our own. It's all new. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. Chris and I have been following you guys for, gosh, ever since we started, I think like back in like 2010? It was a long Did time ago. That, right? Yeah, 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 it's been a long time. So you guys were definitely one of the first haunters that we started watching. We've just seen you guys progress through the years and progress through the years and it's just awesome. I'm so excited for you guys. You kill it every time we see you guys do something. And I'm excited because these guys, they touch my heart and you'll see in a little bit, you guys. There's one room where I just may stay in for a little bit longer than normal. So you guys just like fast forward. But we'll get to that. Gene's we'll gonna wear out all your guys' batteries. Yeah. <laughs> nice, awesome. Well, we will go ahead and start with the facade. If you guys wanna walk us through and just tell us some of your sure. DIY yes. stuff. Half of the panels were built ourselves, the other half we inherited from another haunt. But I think there's over 300 wall panels. So 150 of those were hand built this year. Dang, 150 um, wall panels? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Did. All of darkness my mom and dad graciously built and painted all those panels. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, the whole facade was uh, uh, done hand painted by uh, me and uh, my fiance Viv and some of our volunteers. Um, all aged by hand. Um, pretty much the only thing was the door was just bought from the restore. Do you yeah. guys normally go for oops paint or do you guys have like a specific We try to go theme? for oops but yeah. we're usually like here's the color to make it as cheap as possible. Yeah. And they're like we don't know what that means. Right. And yeah. They always try to upsell us. We're like no no no, no, no. no it's just, <laughs> just as cheap as possible. Yeah. And bonus tip for you guys I've noticed recently at least for the past two years or so that Home Depot and Lowe's are starting to have like Memorial Day sales where they'll yes. sell like their huge five gallon and their regular gallon buckets for like a rebate or something so you get like the Home Depot card, but you can spend it anywhere. Sometimes they don't yeah. they yeah, don't let you know that because it comes with the Home Depot logo and you're like, oh man, I gotta go back to Home Depot, but you don't, so. How did I age them? Yeah. Um, pretty much just get some black paint and I dabbed it at the top and then uh, hit it with the spray bottle, let it streak down and just repeat that process like three times. Yeah. And that's what it is. And then on the facade ones, I did like kind of a mold at the bottom and just kind of dabbed the paint and with the paintbrush just streaked it up. That's cool. Did you make this facade for the midsummer, or had you made this before? This facade was, has, we've had like a version of this facade uh, since we were at Galway Downs two years ago. Okay. Um, but yeah, the triangle was new and then the, the paint scheme's new. Is there mail in here? There's stuff in there, it's There's not maybe mail. Can I is, it a, is it a scare that jumps out? <laughs> that is really smart, I like that idea. Except so you guys. when we opened and I couldn't remember where I put the remotes. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a good place. Do you remember Jeremy's flag set? So yeah, there's something in there. <laughs> you got these from Sandy, right? Yeah, and those are reproductions, so are those aren't vintage. That's why they're out in the sun. I didn't even know they made reproductions of those. Yeah, I didn't know either. So I can find them cheaper? Uh, yeah, you might be able to. Well, That's yeah, cool. I haven't even seen reproductions of the owls anyway recently yeah. Like, yeah my eyes are out looking for them everywhere and if you're a subscriber who doesn't need these anymore you can send them my way <laughs> <laughs> well very cool are these working lights yeah yes it all works ah, i love it yeah, we got, i don't even know where we found those years and years ago uh the restore we just spray painted yeah. this copper and then a little bit of black and then we spray painted the light bulb so it's just a cool little glow it's crazy how you guys find more like treasures yeah. just walking through it's weird. And it's treasure. it's weird how we can click on your video and you guys are always like, yeah, I got a cart full of these vintage <laughs> like props here. It's weird. Every time I went into a thrift store, I text Zach and I'm like, <laughs> look what I found. Oh yeah. Because with, in a world where we don't do this anymore, we have to split our collection. Yeah. So like or build a vintage Halloween museum somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you build your, your house there yeah. You go. yeah. Well, yeah. then we saw the outside, which is fantastic. Can so we go to get inside? inside, it's not on right now, but to get inside, you have to hit the doorbell, and then it will open up by itself. That's like cool. Real, yeah, like for real. Yeah. We'll show you the mechanism I gotta it. check that out. <laughs> I want that in my house. It's just a normal doorbell we uh, wire to the peekaboo. You ring the doorbell, and then there's like a three-second pause that slowly opens, stays open for, I think, 
Um, it's like 10 seconds, enough yeah. to get like six people through, and then it closes on its own. Wow. That's really cool, you guys. And so super simple. Yeah, yeah I like that idea. Yeah, because we're trying to get more high tech without it being like, oh, here's our giant like TV screen or projector. Yeah, so right. it's like, yeah. what would make sense for the theme? And it's like, okay, will the door be opening by itself? You know, I love okay. that, because every haunted house needs a door that opens mm -hmm. by yes. itself. Is that for our air scare? Uh, that's for, uh, for the cylinder. Oh, um, yeah, you yeah, just connect it for, for connect the daytime. Oh, I see. And then, yeah, that connects into here. You got the light up there. Yeah, uh, all of our lighting, we try to do natural lighting, yeah. so it's a lot of like copper dim lighting everywhere. Cool. Look you, at just, these. you just paint those bulbs? Yeah, just paint short light bulbs. That's cool. We'll be the first to tell you you can do it while the light bulb's on. We've done that since the Homont days. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, if the light bulb would pop, it would have popped. So yeah. like, we just spray paint it on, then we get our effect that we want so we can do it at nighttime. Yeah. And that's really of, smart. Like, over spray that painting is... a light bulb. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it does get a little hot and it's it's smoky. It's it smell sure, a little burning, but, yeah. it's gotta, but it doesn't. It's, it's gotta, gotta monitor it. <laughs> what about these panels? Yeah, these haunt panels are really um, cool. These are just vacuum form panels. Um, we inherited them from another haunt. Um, and yeah, they're just like the ones you can get at Transworld. So you walk in, and then now you guys have kind of gone into like a pinkish, purplish. We took a class years ago at uh, mid or the National Arms Convention. And uh, Chris Rudetroy is his name doing the class, and he said, never be afraid to use jewel tones in your haunt, because when it's dark, you can still tell what color the walls are. So yeah. uh, I'm like, we're going purple. And so, and then all the all the paint in here was like orange and gray, and we figured that was a little too on the nose for yeah. a Halloween theme maze, so we just went with purple and color. It turned out nice. And the aging pops well. And We're at a train museum, FYI. <laughs> 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 when we did the um, cinema, I was like, I don't want to do black and red. Everybody does black and red, so I went with pink, and it really, it turned out good. I really enjoyed getting to paint something pink. It <laughs> yeah, was, it was, it was weird for me though, yeah. like at first to get used to it, because yeah. I was like, man, I don't but know. We aged it. Well, I mean, we got so many comments here, like, why purple? Like, like I go to work with purple paint on my pants. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Barney. Right. Yes. What's this room? Just, just another a, hallway. Little, just a little transition hallway, set in, set in the mood. So yeah. in here. Um, it's just these two dim lights. There's really no music yet until you get into this room with the organ. I really like how you guys created a long, like, extension hallway. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you get in the door and then maybe you're expecting a room, but you don't get a room. Yeah. And then you go down the hallway and you don't get another room and then you get another hallway. So it's like really building that suspense. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what we want to do was just build the tension. Especially with everyone thinks that she's an actor. Yeah. Right yeah. there. Yep, so already. Yeah, we'll just turn the corner and I'll have to like, no. we'll have to like <laughs> do like two or three minutes between groups because like they'll just be like, no, we're not going to walk back. Yeah, she's like, and like they're just stuck in here. And then they do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, ah, I don't think so. <laughs> like the whole idea between the front door and the big room that we're gonna see yeah. is this a slow dramatic build up. Like yeah. we like we didn't want it to be like punch you in the face with the vintage stuff sure. yet. Yeah. So the, the, this organ still works. It still lights up. We got it's to... also haunted. It's also haunted because it starts playing on its own when the maze nice, is plugged in. Nice. And um, it, there's just a little, there's a little faint like organ track playing in here, just also just slowly like building up the anticipation. Did you guys have to wire up some lights to get it to light up like that, or is no, that the original, original lights light in there? Over. That is so cool, yeah, you guys. Just, this was like. Some of the keys still work too. They do. This yeah. was pretty much brand new when we got it, but it was the, all the rain that California got the past yeah. two years. So when we plugged it, we're like, oh, it's not going to work anymore. Right. So that's like, we didn't even touch it. That's natural aging right there. That is so it's awesome. All, all right, what should we sing? And then you got pictures, you got mm -hmm. clocks, and. And we decided to make it ship themed in here just because, like, we, we had, had, randomly had it. Like, why not? Yeah. I love it. And those are probably haunted as well. Yeah, probably, People probably. probably appear randomly in there. Did you guys find those at yep. the same uh, place that was given away the other stuff or different? Um, the organ we got the restore for free because it's so heavy. Um, okay. These I think we had just at random thrift stores. Do you guys really make the neat. candles? Oh yeah, those, those are, are from, from our home, home haunt home days. Long yeah, I so love when you guys put stuff like that 2009, in there. Yeah, 8, 9, Every time yes. I open a box I'm surprised we still have them. Yeah. Child yeah. labor for me though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is our, our attempt at uh, like making something interactive. Okay. We put all these doors in so the guests can open and close them themselves. And then the actor can also see when people are coming. Okay. So we just tell people, you know, the white doors you can yeah, go to open. Those. That's smart. Here, let me see. I'm going to pretend to be the Han actor. Oh, look, a door. Oh, God, There's a person. Coming. I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> You can lock her in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. 
I stumbled upon a website that makes reproduction cutouts, yeah. vintage cutouts, and they had a neon package. I'm like, oh, we could do a hallway that's just yes. neon cutouts. Yes. And so then there's actually some like vintage ones that are actually neon. Right. And so I'm like, yeah, we're throwing a black light in here. And then these guys were just from Spirit that's awesome. in the line to check out. Is that pretty common now? You can pretty much get any kind of reproduction of no. all this old stuff or no? Um, I'll show you. I Because I once I found this website, I'm like, I'm buying all of their things. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, then they're a company that like, that's they for like 50 years they've made wow. cutouts. So now they just have a vintage yeah, line of right. like, new ones. And yeah. it's like, well, that's nice that because like the one like this, like you can't really find anymore. No. So it's like, yeah. but it's going to, it being in a hunt, it's going to get ruined eventually. Sure, yeah. so. All of our original collection of vintage cutouts has been essentially destroyed over the yeah. years. Yeah. Which, yeah. You guys will see. So, right. it, but, so it's like with these ones, it's like, oh, like this, these nine neon ones, these cats were, yeah. it was like the pack was like seven bucks. That's really so cool. So it's wow. like, oh yeah, no, I'm yeah. going to buy that. I know so. Walmart sold one a couple of years ago and I had those ones. And that's I do have cool. some originals, so that's cool too from when I was a kid. <gasps> yes! Uh oh. So this is our big punch you in the face Yay! with nostalgia moment. <laughs> the heart of High Street, we call it. They even have a Steve Urkel, you guys. Oh yeah, Hidden Urkel. Oh People do gosh. Hidden Mickeys, we do Hidden Urkels. <laughs> <laughs> well, only awesome. <laughs> you got him at Transworld or? Um, he Mid was at Transworld to, for no effects. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I saw him oh, at. Really? Um, the Spook Show in La Mirada, and I'm like, I must have him. And then I took the plunge after literally standing in front of him for like an hour in midsummer, and it like yeah. trying to talk myself into the investment, and having Viv not be mad at me. So yeah. because, you know, trying to save up for a wedding, but I'm like, yeah. but he could like be could be there, right. he could be our yeah. repair. Yeah. <laughs> so That's so cute. And I'm like checking out this outfit. Going Harrison would look so cute in that. <laughs> It's amazing the amount of stuff that you guys have set up in such a short amount of time. And yeah. this is crazy. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of yeah. stuff in here. Yeah, we moved in September 3rd is when we got on property. Yeah. yeah. And then when did you guys have your first night? It was two uh, weeks ago, right? Last weekend. Last weekend. That's, yeah, the third. There was a fourth. It was about yeah, a month. So exactly a month. A month. Man, yeah, so a month. Man, that's a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. Plus, you guys have normal, everyday jobs. We do. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many we own of any of this, which is <laughs> or yeah. those. We never counted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But every time you find one, you just pick one up. Oh right? yeah, regardless yeah. if it works or not, we just get it. So well, they don't know totally since like... they haven't counted Gina. Maybe you could uh, slip <laughs> one in the diaper bag. Hey, I might need some alone time in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's our grandma Linda. She would tell us and our parents, "Well, when I go, just ship me off to California in a box and have a boys put me up in a haunted house." Oh. And <laughs> my parents go. have had that in in their garage since your funeral and they're like do you want it because it's kind of what she wanted yeah. right? so of course we put a picture of grandma in the yeah that's yeah. wonderful that's awesome you guys remember these things what do you got back behind there to make that glow it's just uh just a firelight from like home depot where we get ours oh, okay. from big lots usually is that thing like made out of like a plastic or is it fiberglass or um i think it's i mean I can pull it down it's uh it's like an old fiberglass and then it's like trans yeah it's fiberglass so it's wow. translucent right here so okay. when it used to work, the light bulb would light up, and then this guy would spin on this, oh, and then it would wow. look like flames are going up. Did you buy that originally, or is that something you used you um, guys picked a, up? A uh, home hunt get donated to us. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool, so you guys. It, it never worked for us, but yeah, because the cord, the cords chopped off. So yeah, um, yeah, but, uh, but we had the fire and ice light, so we're like, oh, might as well use it. Whoa, <laughs> that's cool. A, a drop panel behind the vintage so picture. Still work. So imagine that, but like a thousand times louder when it's yeah. everything. Yes. She works like we bought her yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really, that sounds really awesome, but Jeremy, don't you oh, yeah. have, the, <laughs> how does it go? Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's like you guys' these secret language. Molds are on this yeah. old school flicker box, and I don't know where you get it. They don't make them anymore. Don't really know where it's from. But it's called the Fright Light 500. This whole wall is on uh, is on this flicker. So all these guys, you know, they kind of go off and on, and then it's also attached to these Christmas lights because these Christmas lights are in his mouth. So it looks like he's chewing on the wiring and making yeah. everything flicker. That's and we awesome. We came up with that literally the other night because we needed more light on him. 
And That's cool. Now, and now this room like makes more sense at least yeah. in, in our heads. It's kind of like the Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Yeah, the, exactly. Like yeah. when you're leaning back and yeah. Just shoot. yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Very cool. Did you get all any of this furniture this year, or is this all stuff that you also had all like stored up? All this furniture this year. Okay. Um, I was just like every night on Facebook just searching, searching for furniture okay. and trying to talk people down and. Um, some well, at least one of the pieces of furniture I, I don't ever want to go back to that house ever again oh. but everyone else was like really <laughs> nice and was super excited to take a flyer and I'm like if you want to come see it again in a spooky environment here's yeah. a flyer yeah is there a speaker behind there yeah yeah Yeah. so there's got them masked off and yeah. And, there's, and it's, it's just nothing fancy, you just, it's okay. like a stereo speaker. Just hey, like, I worked hard just, on the stapling that. Just like, just like a stereo speaker. And that's how it is basically throughout all the mazes. We just find okay. them in there. Is all your that's really cool, you guys. off of different, like, I'll show you. Okay. We'll just yeah. a bunch of MP3 players. And then you have a stair actor and... here, right? Yeah, so this is where I've been most okay. nights. And then, so someone will work that, that brown door we walk past, the drop panel, and then by the time they're distracted by that, I'll pop up with this guy. <laughs> Those That's awesome. Thing. Like nothing gets me except for like someone who comes up and like rattles some bolts. I'm like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> every time, every time. Have you guys taken any naps on that? Is this is this where you were sick? Is that where yeah, I was there. Sick. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I, we had a brand new drop cloth. I like was sick enough, but I yeah. still like I nicely tucked yeah, it. I'm like, I'm right. not gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I just passed out. You also have some good footage, uh, scare footage too of, of yeah, him yeah, yeah. scaring someone. We have a, we were, I brought my GoPro for tonight. We just set up right here to get awesome. it all night. So, because that was just me, just like with my phone was out the door. I was just like. Like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that creepy? That's yeah. why he didn't see notice you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Is that an old projector? Yeah. That's is. crazy, you guys. It no. did work last year. It probably got rained on too much, but so we had like the lights was still working, so we yeah. had it to light the room. Uh we did a haunt. What are all those little bags? Are those like little popcorn bags? They have vintage like little trick or treat sacks. Yeah, um, that's those crazy. are worth money too. Like, yeah. Find them and stuff. Um, it was an open pack I've had for years, and I'm like, I'm never gonna use these otherwise. Yeah, so we just right. filled them with some gravel and literally filled the rocks like Charlie Brown. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Could rock. literally be like, yeah, I got a rock. I got a rock. Couple <laughs> little rock candies. <laughs> mm, remember. Where do you guys store all of this stuff? Our side yard, backyard, and a bedroom. A bedroom, our front patio, and a shed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. it's too much. Yeah. So we're getting way organized this year, though. Like a yeah. thousand times more organized, so it's not as. Bad. <laughs> what do you think of this room, Harrison? Is it scary? No, it's scary. It's really cool, huh? Hey. Do you like all the vintage pumpkins? I'm going to have to put a clip, a nighttime clip in here, guys, because you know my number one happy place is fog, but oh, this is happy place number two yes. if someone else takes the fog room. This yep. is where Gina would be. This is so cool. Oh, I know. It is. It's, oh it is, it's super fun. Yeah. And we will put a, a link to a couple of their videos down yeah. below so you guys can see some of these uh, shots at night because... And then I'm sure they'll film a, a walkthrough, you know, or before they take it down. Come down yourself and check it out. Yes, if you're local, you definitely should. What you got there, buddy? I got the trick-or-treat Where'd you find that at? Um, um, it went right here, babe. <laughs> 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 we'll help him. You'd fill up that candy real quick. Yeah. He's all candy. You trying to eat some rocks? It's a bunch of rocks. What do, Gina, what do you think of those scary Can little I twins? Can these guys? <laughs> Gina has a chandelier kind of like this. We, we've had it for a long time. We're going to do a tutorial on it. But it's sitting there for many it years. Or... And we got it from Sandy, too. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I will say, we bought these uh, these flicker bulbs off Amazon this year. Yeah. They work. suck. Really? <laughs> yeah, they maybe like work for 30 minutes, and now they're all basically out. Like, oh, they don't no. make them like that. Like the ones they used to have yeah, at Home Depot. Yeah. yeah. Now they don't sell them anymore. You can like barely move, shake them and stuff. Yeah. They'll they get yeah. damaged. First they get stuck, right? They they stop yeah. wiggling and then they go out and stuff. Yeah. 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 Haunter problems. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The walls got taller here. That's one thing we told ourselves: like we want to go more vertical this yeah. year. So yeah. Right, let's have a ten foot hallway. Wow! This is so cool, Chris. Check it out. So this is one of our midsummer screen favorites. We yes. came up with this idea because we needed for midsummer a yeah. quick cheap easy thing to do in I loved summer. it and it, it was such a hit that it's now turned into this fully realized yeah. room so all these have tea lights in them 
and so this whole and I actually put this roof on today because when we walked through last night it's like the moon was too darn bright mm. and so it ruined the effect a little yeah. bit so I'm like I'm putting a roof on so that's what I was working on before you guys got that's here that's really cool but, uh, all these have tea lights so it's just a glow all the way down and then there's an actor just at the very end just standing in a pumpkin mask cool just staring at you I love gags like this in haunts because you never know like what if it's gonna be someone or if it's gonna like have something come out at you or something like it's, it's very distracting bodies or yeah. whatever because you're like yeah because okay. people are like looking yeah. up and then they don't see that and yeah exactly. exactly yeah how long did it take you guys to collect all these well we this... went and got forty of them from Winco this um, year because okay. they were ninety eight cents a piece nice. oh nice. Yeah. But there are one or two actually vintage ones in here yeah. too. Yeah. Look, this is my pumpkin. Oh, your name's on it. It really is. And what's crazy about that, it even looks like my mom's handwriting. Whoa. That's crazy. Whoa, that's creepy. That's, creepy. <laughs> and that's one of the vintage ones too. <laughs> that could have been mine. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I love these tall walls, you guys. It's yeah. amazing how much of a difference that makes. Yeah, yeah. and I felt kind of a drop. We are on an incline. And especially with what's going on, that really is disorienting. Yeah. You know, yeah. even just the slightest little drop in a haunt, you're like, what's happening? Yeah. Yeah. Where am I going? Yeah, and it happens in darkness, too, when you can't see where you're going. Like, you can... Yeah. That's you. awesome. <laughs> Hi, babe. We're good. Are you having fun, buddy? <laughs> Show them, show them your Frankenstein tattoo. Oh, on your wow. Arm. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Having a fun time. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know you guys put a restroom in your home. Yeah. That was for Zach, right? That, well, it's because the actors always need to leave to go to the bathroom. So <laughs> I was going to say a little bit of it got up here too. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah, so uh, in here, pretty much the actor hides in the shower here. Oh, wow! Um, and do a, a pop out. Oh, so we have That's our, cool. Look, we, you guys we have just put little, a wood frame. Yeah, just built a wood frame around it. My dad actually did this. Yeah, just built a and quick we have our little frame. toaster. Our toaster in the bathtub. Oh, Easter egg. Ha ha ha. Trigger some people. Yeah. And then we got another another drop panel here. That's really cool. I saw you guys. Uh, um, repairing those too the yes, other day. Yes, yeah, they all broke the first weekend. That's awesome <laughs> that you got them we got all fixed. Yeah. All fixed. And the sink is just some two by Sorry. fours, mm -hmm. some great stuff, Yeah. and some muck. That's awesome. Old scale details, you guys. This is our laundry room. Yes. I mean, this is, I mean, there's not much thought behind it other than like put clothes everywhere yeah but it seems like you guys have like a scheme going on like either like industrial or like At, working. Well, so we get a lot of stuff from our job and yeah. so like this guy's house uh his garage caught on fire, his garage caught on fire. and oh, so geez. even though like nothing smells like smoke or yeah, anything right they, they cash out for it. Yeah. yeah they the insurance cash out for it and so like nice. it's he was in the military obviously so yeah. um uh, we had just whole trash bag full of it so we just hung it up yeah but, like the same thing like these all this stuff comes from our job because it just gets thrown away. So. I bet this was fun to paint, right? Uh, my, yeah, my mom painted right, that. And yeah. then Marissa did this one. I did that one. Yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. fun. This is just I just want to like vector. muck up an old washing machine and dryer. <laughs> this is all just not even paint on the side. I just mud. I just put water on the mud and then. Yeah. 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 I sell it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Rinse it up. The lint's been cleaned. Everything too is fireproof, like fire retardant is spread on all these clothes. Oh, yeah. okay. All the roof parts, minus the, that brown tarp right there, but like yeah. in the blow mold room in the pumpkin hallway there, yeah, everything, everything we have to have sprayed. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. Get a, the fire, it's Roscoe, Roscoe yeah. paints fire retardant. Yeah. We use yeah. Their, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were. Cu I was curious if you guys were like required to do that if you don't have like a roof and stuff. If it's open like this, I didn't I, know I if mean, you. We weren't officially told we were required to do it, but, but we, we did it. Just something that to you. Do it. Yeah. So, like all the purple ones have a retardant that you mix with. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the right. The paint. So, yep. Yeah. 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 We used that before. So yeah, we try to be as proactive as possible just yeah. in case. That's smart. Yeah. So. Then you guys aren't like last minute trying to open and yeah. doing fireproof. No, that is. Anything actually does happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, that's smart. And then I noticed you have uh, exits. I've noticed a few exit signs exits, and yeah, stuff. All the brown doors are emergency exits or technically like actor corridor. We yeah. Quick, since we're over here. Well, that's a cool little cart that you yeah. have. We were going to build like a laundry monster to come out, but we, we weren't brave enough to clean this out, out this year. <laughs> Nasty. So this is like the central hub for the first half of this maze. Um, you have on this side, you're back to the blow molds and okay. black lights. Yeah. 
the first door, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Over here, you have uh, the drop panel, and then this is where the actors all get ready um, every night. Oh, wow. This is a nice big space. This is crazy, you guys. So, yeah. Uh, Man, you guys got lots of space back here. Too. It's very roomy. So, uh, all the actors hang their costumes up here, the masks go there. Um, my mom sets up her buffet to feed everyone here every night. These masks. My mom makes food for the actors. That's, that's really a, nice. that is so awesome. Oh, that's nice hair Do you wear that one, Marissa? <laughs> no, uh, uh, she need to. That would yeah. freak me out. <laughs> um, there's eight different soundtracks playing. Yeah. So for um, the blow mold room, the pumpkin hallway, the bathroom, the laundry room, the sewing room, which we'll go to, all has Halloween oldies playing on oh, here. Oh, nice, yeah. There is a little amp, a little block rocker like speaker thing behind the organ, so that okay. plays its own track. And then as we keep going, I'll show you where the other ones awesome. are hidden. Okay. We just get old amps from, or old receivers from thrift stores. Yeah. And then just plug in as what low tech as possible. As low tech as possible. That's what That's exactly what we, we do it, yeah. you guys. Auxiliary to yep. the RCA. Yep. Yeah, I know that there's a lot of fancier ways to do yeah. things out there, but for this is exactly how we do it. It's cumbersome with all the wires and stuff yeah. like that, but hey. Someday we'll all get wireless speakers and... <laughs> One day, Jennifer. Yes. Just open a little transition hallway into the sewing room. This is a completely new concept and idea wow. for me and Zach this year. Look at this! Where our serial killers mixing costumes and masks this with is skin and stuff. Originally, it was supposed to just be like, oh, we're gonna uh, hang, because I have, like, this isn't vintage, but like, I have a few just vintage costumes. Yeah. We're just gonna string them across, do the same thing with the masks, but then we're like, oh yeah, we have all these mannequins we haven't touched in years. Yeah. So we're like, it's a mannequin room now. This works, so the actor usually gets his scare from here. Yeah. And, oh, that's uh, cool. And then can hit this, and it's pretty loud, because it's old. Um, we did take the needle off, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sew someone's yeah. hand to yeah. the table? Yeah. But yeah, all these uh, were uh, like hand painted. This yeah. was like at the stadium. This was one of our artists there. But like all the other ones were done by us at some point. Um, we have like some of my vintage costumes out on display. Yeah, I see that. I uh, wrapped them in plastic myself. Yeah. So they didn't get ruined. <laughs> yeah, this room's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was acting here on media night. Yeah. Just this noise was scaring oh, people. Scary I didn't people. have to jump out. Yeah. So. This is like. Buffalo Bill's workstation. It places the lotion on the basket. Secret agent? Mickey Mouse? These are awesome. Is that Scrappy Doo? Gizmo? E.T.? That's awesome. Red rum. Red rum. So this room is supposed to look like uh, you kind of busted through the wall right yep. here. And now you're in between like, you know, it's over exaggerated wall cavity yeah. um, and then this is our, our doll room this has a soundtrack which is all with the brain back there just okay. another receiver so there's a speaker where's the speaker here and then on the other side of the room this is awesome you guys yeah so the idea behind this room was uh, like our main character uh, which we were going to talk about our main character Otis um, this is where he would go play as a kid because mm. he was so neglected so mm. uh, it's supposed to be old looking so our main scare is if Marissa you want to <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. We built that for Midsummer. It's but... also really loud, so when I was in here the other night, I was like slamming it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want to mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no one's expecting that. And it's such an old school idea yeah. that people think like me and Jeremy have like invented Revolution. it. Revolution. Yeah. Like in Midsummer being like, that's such a clever idea. It's it like, is. it's just like the one of the oldest tricks yeah, in the book. It is. Oh, yeah. I think we all have a tendency to try to overthink stuff and it's like no it's the simple stuff yeah. and then it's yeah. so easy and so practical did it take you guys a while to stick all these pieces uh, on or are they because um, you did you put them up after you put your walls together right that's right. not yes yeah it was sheets of blue on um oh these you ones just are ripped the actual, them like lap you can get yeah um but uh they're it's so expensive but then we yeah. had eight sheets of this and i'm like well do that was smart cut it yeah. yep. it was a pain in the butt to cut it all my mom and dad trying to, with the wind kicking up and oh with the little on, it was... <laughs> and then all these dolls are just like, thrift stores, get they're away. Mine. Yeah. Really? They were mine. <laughs> and thrift all stores. The, all the Barbie <laughs> stuff is, yeah, where Marissa's growing up. And yeah. so, like, the way that they are is how, like, Marissa did them at the home hunt. Yeah, so. when I was, like, 10. Oh, my like, God. I was, like, destroying my Barbies. <laughs> and then, um, like, one of the tubs of dolls got rained on, and we didn't notice until we moved here. Yeah. So, like, all this stuff got, like, naturally yeah. aged. Like, we didn't have to do any sure. of it. Sure. We like disinfected it, like yeah, with some right. Lysol, because it kind of smelled bad. But yeah. like, it was like, yeah, it looks so good. Like, 
Yeah. You can. You probably couldn't have done that. Yeah, exactly. You know. So yes, Marissa, I did the exact same thing, mm -hmm. but I did it to He-Man, G.I. Joe, yep. and Transformers. <laughs> and if I had that stuff and people saw the, what I did to yeah. them, it would be like a haunt for toy collectors. Oh, yeah. They'd be like, no! <laughs> like, Mickey Mouse? Is that like a pirate Mickey Mouse? Yes. Hey, can you show me what kind of tattoo you got? What is that? That's a Frankenstein. Yes, it is Frankenstein. Is that a coffin? That's a trunk. <laughs> I don't like a coffin though, huh? Man, you guys, this is so long. It's awesome. Oh yeah, we're, we're about nine, I'm like halfway down with this maze. That's really cool. <laughs> that is now awesome. Over the 150 Enjoy kids. the hour and a half video, yeah. guys. Yeah, right? Did you guys DIY this? What's this? Uh, is this? No, uh, we found it at a thrift store. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just painted it that up. That was a probably bit. one of those things where they're like, I don't know, should we move this on or not? Nah, someone will buy it. And sure enough, <laughs> so, this is another new room this year. It's our laser swamp. So, it, we pretty much did it for every haunt tour we've ever been on, has some sort of laser room. Yeah. And every time we know there's an actor in here, but every yeah. time it scares the. Yes, it does. Room. It really does. And so, how this room works is, uh, is there's a laser right here. It's just a, a line, a laser line. So, it just shoots that high, all the way across the room. We pump, pump the room full of fog. Um, how we're doing it this year, it's a little more like, well, DIY-y, because everyone was like, you need to buy a haze machine to make this trick work. Yeah. And haze machines are too expensive. So, um, Fog It Up sells a haze fluid for fog machines. It's yeah. a it's a lighter density fog with a really long hang time. Yeah. So we bought that and it works perfectly for in a fog machine, so. Fog it up! <laughs> so, uh, so they, this room gets filled with fog, and then um, when the fog hits the laser line, it creates a, like a swamp illusion, and you can't see through the laser line, so the yeah. actor can just be crouching, yes. and they can see everybody, yeah. and all they literally have to do is just pop up, yeah. and then they can scan That's there awesome. and get like a few scares here and there. Yeah. And I like that you, you, you use barrels protecting the wood, because people can like bounce off yes. of these, and then yeah. you don't feel like, you know, they're going to hurt themselves. And they're Josh James. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we saw in Hunter's Hangout, people said for their laser swamps, if you kept, like if you got pegboard, it helped yeah. some of the fog escape. Okay. Yeah. Um, just yeah. so it doesn't get too foggy That's in here. Smart. Yeah. If you yeah. did it with like fog machines. So I'm like, oh, well, we found that on like let go for a few bucks. So like we can try it. Yeah, I think you added those pillars after the video yeah. I saw. We did after we so did that's, it. Yeah. that's smart, like, you guys. We need to make this safer. <laughs> yeah. So. No, that's smart. I like the way you guys yeah. did that. Locked it in there. Cool. Can you tell that's unpainted at nighttime? No. You can't, don't, nobody even knows, huh? Yeah, they're so, like, what is this yeah. laser thing that... Yeah. I mean, people come out being like, how, like, how did you do it? Like, yeah. They yeah. You know, we're just, it's one laser plugged in, that's all we did. And this laser I got from uh, eBay. It was like 16 bucks. Oh, wow. Took, that's took a, cool. And it's the same one you can get on Amazon for like 30. Yeah. But yeah. it takes a month to get here because it comes from China. Yeah. So, okay. Like, so I'm like, I, I bought it in April. So I'm go. like, yeah, if I buy it early enough. Yeah. And so I bought two of them, so we have a backup one. But yeah. Add it to your Christmas list. <laughs> Gina, the trash can trauma. <laughs> I don't know, Gina. You would make a good scare actor. <laughs> That's why I went to school. <laughs> we have a little backstage area. Where we have where we have the fog machine for, oh, yeah. for that room. Like yes, <laughs> it's exactly like ET. The the perimeter of this whole greenhouse shines blue on the outside. Uh huh. So it's like a nice contrast with contrast between like the black lights you're gonna see in there. Okay. So we have blue lights in there. Ooh, check this out. So this whole oh, room that's is awesome. uh, black lit, so everything's fluorescent. Um, we bought, it was by chance, a lot of these flowers that aren't painted, like these pink ones, um, like the purple ones there, um, we got from the Dollar Tree, and we bought them in, to paint them eventually, and so we had them in here at night, turned the black lights on, and they're all fluorescent already. Wow. That's we're, really cool. Yeah, so we're like, oh, wow, well, that added so much more color, <laughs> yeah. instead of just your regular stuff you can get at yep. Michael's or... They're probably made with uranium or something. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the lady looked at me like I was insane, coming to, like, the cash register with, like, 75 flowers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a happy accident, though, because yeah, really cool. yeah. this room looked really awesome in, in the... On your videos, yeah, like it's, yeah. it's fun. You guys keep an actor down here, yeah, right? Yeah, an actor hides down there. Last night we had the one just dragging the shovel, kind of back and forth, being. Oh, okay. And uh, then had an actor jump 
out from in here. Okay. I like the, the carpet too. It kind of feels like you're walking on grass mm -hmm. or dirt or something. Are you a scare actor? Are you going to spook us? Oh. That's pretty scary as we walk by. Watch your head though. See a bird? Oh my gosh, it just keeps mm -hmm. going. <laughs> this is awesome. This is our back porch area. This is um, crazy, you guys. Just so the idea would be like you walk through that Otis's hallway and then it, it breaks into like the outside. So you have the laser swamp, the greenhouse, and then you walk back into his house. So it's yeah. like okay. his back porch. Okay. Keeping trying to keep it like, oh, it's still vintage So you kind of get that idea. Not yeah. it's like someone else's house are actually yeah. vintage. Mm -hmm. um, all of our siding is old laminate flooring that was going to get thrown away at, at work. So that flooded oh, in someone's that's a house great at some idea. point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's already, it's already, you know, we don't have to paint it. We just have to put it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you got some uh, metal roofing. That's yes. that's a cool touch yeah. up and above then, there. And that stuff is so easy to come by, like, because as soon as water touches it, it's basically trash in anyone's yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever want some, go look up your local restoration company or your serve pro, and I'm sure they'd be that's happy to your dumpster. Happy yeah. to give it to you. And look at you guys just made porches out of pallets. Yeah, pallets and then laminate. She's now a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like, yeah, her eyeball just stares at you because it's popping out. But, yeah. That's scary in itself it right is. there. Yeah. You guys so, have a scare actor in here? Yeah. yeah. Um, this fence came from my mom and dad's next door neighbors. We do their fence. <laughs> oh, my God. So the, this part of the maze, the swamp and the greenhouse, have its own audio track, swampy noises. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it, it gets far less organized than the yeah. ago. But, yeah. Um, swamp and then this whole section of the maze is like an intense um, like horror like classic horror sounding music cool with like saws and drills and stuff I sit here on my wooden chair and spit in my little spit cup oh that's a weed whacker Harrison's got a pumpkin head this is crazy you guys this is our kitchen man I just can't get over how m much items you have I know <laughs> <laughs> we, look like, we, we look like quarters when it's at our house. When it's here, yeah. it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You guys frolic through your yard. We close our windows and ignore it for a year. That's um, too funny, this is like yeah. the newest addition. It's like an actual vintage stove. That's it's awesome. It's restore for like yeah. 75 bucks, I think. And yeah. when I took a picture, we, we went halfsies on it. And now we have it. You should have just asked Derek for his. Yeah. Just kidding, Derek. <laughs> so, yeah. And then, like, uh, like this guy, I mean, he still has, like, rope lights and stuff in here from midsummer, but we just ran out of extension cords in time. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. There, there's, like, all these little things that, you know, every hunter yes. just doesn't have time to do. Yes. It's pretty awesome, all the items. I feel like in haunts, especially when you have more things to look at, it's, yeah. it's, it's easier it's, to scare people. Yeah. But I, I don't know if it's just, like, the way we were raised, like, going to antique stores mm -hmm. and, you know, going to Disneyland and stuff, but yep. seeing a blank wall just makes yeah. me insane yeah. yeah you got any snacks in here oh man scare act oh oh that stinks <laughs> i smell ice cream dang it this kitchen looks like our kitchen on a normal october day <laughs> <laughs> So basically what you're saying is when you're not building, you're shopping at thrift stores. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Thrift stores are at Disneyland. Oh, so this is where yeah. a lot of the uh, other reproduction cutouts are. Yes. Um, all, like all of these are, are brand new cutouts. Wow. These panels came from Helser Cemetery in Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. They posted on Facebook and we went up and that was the first time we met them. They're really nice. They're yeah, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. They have our cemetery columns. Oh, yeah. We can't take credit on how good they look. <laughs> <laughs> when you're talking about your toys. Collection, yeah. Phyllis Toaster was hanging up in when we did our hillbilly maze at the stadium. Uh, an actor came up to us and said a guest came up to them and said, why are you hang Why is that toaster hanging there? And they're like, I don't know. I'm not in charge. They're like, don't you know what kind of toaster that is? That is a rare 1953 yeah. so and so toaster, and it's worth this much money, brand new. And I can't believe you're just ruining it. And and she's like, we she literally got, is hanging from the facade. And she's like, she, she was like, he yelled at me, and it hurt my feelings. <laughs> so we have this rare toaster yeah. in here. It looks like it's cooked its last ego. Yes, yeah. for sure. Where did you get that? Uh, that uh, dinner right there, that's um, a feast. They're, uh, it's a company longer in business, uh, Dark Soldier Designs. They were in uh, in they're Oregon. The first West Coast Hunters Convention. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Claire and Damien. Was yeah. that your pride and joy you guys brought home? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because we drove that year. Yeah. yeah. 
you guys are fulfilling everything. Like you've got hallways, you've got a, a dining yeah. room, you guys have a living room, we have a laundry room, we yeah. have a bathroom. But it's spread out, not like you normally see. Like everyone's always thinking, like, okay, first when you walk into the house, you got this, you got this, you got this. Yep. You're mixing it up. Yeah. You're making our minds. And there's there's a, lots of debates and conversations on how things should be laid out between mm -hmm. us. It it's working like for arguing. me. Well, it's one thing. Me. The more disoriented you can be for me, the more it works. It's more effective. Well, I also think that a lot of people get so used to a certain length that a walkthrough is. Yeah. And so even though we all say we want a longer one, yeah. I bet that average person's like okay this is going to end any second yeah, but it's yeah. not yeah. ending and so they start to kind of laser swamp everyone's like oh it still goes yeah. yeah and that was our biggest complaint last time we did a hunt was like it was so short like, yeah you were like oh that was it so we're, yeah. like, we're making it bigger so this yeah. is this is two times bigger than when the last time we did it yeah <laughs> Well, That's I can cool. tell. It's huge. Yeah, and all that was was just the room sizes are pretty much the same. It was just adding all the hallways. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. This is like a basket for a... Uh, it reminds me of like the basket of balls you get at a driving range. Yeah. But I know it's a fruit basket, right? Mm -hmm. Fruit basket. Hi. You doing okay? He wants the pumpkin hallway. He's like, where's the pumpkin hallway? Oh, no, you gotta go a long way to get back there, see? You wanna go to the back to the pumpkin hallway? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you guys are doing all right? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> this is our bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all the dolls. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these, like, like these were was actually in earlier, the ones that got rained on for a year. Yeah. And then we couldn't ask for better aging. But then a huge chunk of them oh, are, these are belong to our great grandmother on my mom's side. And my mom's like, I don't know what to do with these. I think I should just donate them somewhere. And we're like, we'll take them. But she's having a weird emotional attachment of us ruining them or not. So they <laughs> yeah. have to come in here where they can be mm -hmm. kept track of yeah. and not ruined. Aww. Yeah. Look at that wolf man. What's the story on him? Found him in a thrift store. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, I've never, I had, he wasn't that expensive, but I'd never seen I've something never like seen that before, that so I'm like, yeah, we'll buy it. You have a scare after on the bed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there, or hiding back here somewhere, or yeah. like this dresser was going to be used for, we're going to gut it and yeah. have an actor pop in and out like the trunk. Oh, wow. But it was one of those things we didn't yeah. have time to, yeah. to do. I love coming to Hans because you guys find the most random stuff. Yeah. But it, it just fits. Did that fireplace, uh, that faux fireplace come with the, your other um, yeah. vacuum forms? Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And then this is just a, 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 the top of a china hut. You know, the entertainment center. Uh, no, the top of an entertainment center. Flip yeah. upside down. Yep. Yeah. That's smart, you guys. Yeah. I like the way you attach it to you. Just use a couple little of those uh, truss plates or those like, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. These are the kinds of things Marissa did to her dolls. Perfectly normal. Oh my Our gosh. Closet. You guys used a couple staples in this project, didn't you? Yeah. It smells like an old thrift store in here. Yeah, the, uh, so our parents went to our church's thrift store and said, are there any clothes you guys aren't selling? Yeah. And they're like, you take it. And they give them like three bags nice. full of just clothes. That's why they smell yeah. clean. I think Harrison had this onesie. <laughs> <laughs> And that just transitions into like the back of Otis's closet to his workshop or makeshift workshop with all of our, our gory body parts and stuff. Is this a flashcracker? So this used to belong to our, our uncle uh -huh. and it was attached to an actual electric chair. It was like a Halloween party gag. Yeah. It would vibrate on the chair yeah. and it hasn't worked for a long time so we just hang it up. Yeah. This is something that looks cool. Are there people actually uh, jumping out of that plane that oh, we're yeah. hearing right now? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's maybe, cool. Should, maybe I'll see when we go out. But the maze keeps going, so you gotta keep walking. <laughs> That's our, our big final room, or our small big final room. Yeah. This was a bigger room, but we condensed it just so it's more like in your face with all the body parts. Actual IV bags from a house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, just like from watching some of your videos and then actually being here, this is way more stuff than than i thought you guys like had yeah because yeah. yeah, so. at a certain point we stop filming the room until we do the like the walkthrough so, yeah so it doesn't spoil at all pretty cool these are other these are vacuum form these bricks yeah how do you guys do you guys like those a lot better than just a regular they're nice uh, great when they're up because then you're like great this room is done but putting them up is a pain 
the wind sucks. They like to bend in half and they like really want to snap. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we, every year we're like, we should just frame them out with two by twos, but we never do. Yeah. But, okay. But once, because yeah. once the years are up, it's like, cool, we just have to decorate. We don't have to worry about painting. And it's hard painting. getting attaching things to the walls because it That's just sinks right. right through it. So the best benefit would be if you bought like a whole like facade set, you know, you can get a trans world or whatever. But, yeah. Like if for like a small room like this, they're kind of a pain to work with. Mm -hmm. So, and so like if you had a haunt that never had to come down, like or one of those. Or that too, yes, yeah. permanent, yeah. Yeah, it'd probably be nice. You could huh? just like glue these two pieces yeah. of plywood. Tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick it's like the nails from a Fright Night. I like your tables too. You guys got the little pallet tables going on. This was going to be a flash cracker moment, but time, money. Yeah. Did you find that at a thrift store too or the restore? Um, that was in the dumpster at work. Oh, that's nice. It was on my neighbor's house. <laughs> I just took it, took it off my mom. Yeah. Took it off my mom and dad's house. For a while. <laughs> When the when the dumpster is full of work, they're always like, do you, I, they let us take the electronics or like if I want to take it to get recycled, they'll let me yeah, do it. Nice. So that I just took home. Yeah. And... <laughs> when the power went out here at the train know, museum, right. they just oh, yanked they it off the right. side of one of the buildings. <laughs> is Dracula in here? Um, <laughs> no, but this actually, it used to be a cooler. Our uncle, like by marriage, they live in Temecula, which is around the block from my mom and dad. And, uh, like we see him every now and then, but they would um, the he, party hunt. They did a huge party hunt, and yeah. he, when we were doing the home hunt, he uh, messaged us. He goes, "Hey, we're last year. We're throwing it all away if you don't come take what you want tomorrow." <laughs> and so we literally like three truckfuls, and this is like one of the only things left over from it because a lot of it was homemade yeah, stuff that yeah. just didn't last through the years. But yeah, he's like, "It's a cooler." I'm like, "Well, we're not gonna use this as a cooler, so." Uh, we use it for storage. But yeah, so it's that's cool. All this foam was hand carved and painted by me. It took a very long time. My technique for the foam yeah, carving is um, just uh, pretty much uh, sharpening out the, the stone itself, and then I pretty much go with a pen or just something jagged yeah. to get my lines. That's kind of like why it looks all you know, a little jagged. And uh, and then once that's done, hit the uh, lines just with the spray gun to widen them, and then I just kind of slowly go with the spray gun to get the rest of the foam textured. And then I go with the black spray paint and do the cracks because the acetone will make it just a little deeper. Whole thing black, not gray. Spray paint black and then sponge it. Gray yeah, paint. that's okay. awesome, you guys. Yeah. I like it. So all hand sponge, my hand was cramping. This was a whole thing <laughs> that we, we just figured out. We just like met, started messing with it at the stadium years ago. Yeah. And it's how we've done it ever since. But it's less mess. Yeah. You don't yeah. have as much styrofoam beads flying everywhere. <laughs> this day starts with a claustrophobia tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and does it does it have like a little uh, fans like the inflatables like decorations uh, and stuff same kind of thing? Big industrial fans and this thing's real tight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, people have said they got stuck in here before. Oh really? Yeah. Jeremy had to turn off half of it. So I turn off this fan. This one's he's like this. To his friend, he goes, guys, guys, I can't. Guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> That's Can you help? funny. Pull me. Uh, is so it, it it really puts that much pressure on you, huh? Yeah. When you feel like you. I mean, want me to turn it? Well, I mean, now that's a, I mean, it's okay. I just didn't. I thought you could always just push through. Oh, you like, can, you but know. it depends on how high the fans are. So for us, we would uh, the fans are up all the way because we wanted a nice tight push. Yeah. yeah. But if you turn the fans down, then yeah, it's easier to walk. Oh, I, I see. That's what we do for a living. We happen to just have industrial size fans. You mean gotcha. we've been walking through lame tunnels? <laughs> yeah, all this time. Man. We had a guy last night walk up to this and be like, "Oh no, I'm actually claustrophobic. Like I suffer." from it like I can't <laughs> yeah. come to this maze and they're like we had fun and they left. We had a little kid dressed like a present one time get stuck in our haunt. <laughs> I was like, well, you are dressed like a box. <laughs> like, like trying to fit you. <laughs> there she is. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I see. That's three different speeds. <laughs> yeah, that is... Three different speeds on it, too. If that thing was hooked to one of those car dealership wind songs. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this whole maze is run off of just four, just big four speakers. Because it's, uh, it's pretty small, comparatively. Yep. And then what we wanted to do is, like, we made it, wanted to be like, oh, everyone, we're safe, we're safe, we're safe, where you can feel the walls. And yeah. as soon as you get into the yeah. trunk of maze, it's like, oh, sorry, you got it, because now you're just stuck. Like, so this is where, like, most people get lost. They'll be like, okay, okay, and then they'll be like, okay, we're good, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, and then yeah. the kitchen will be a town. Yeah. Yeah. Can missing again? So we have our first little scare, just a little flashcracker right there. Nice. <laughs> uh, because it, every time we walk through a dark maze, um, especially the first time, yeah, I was just like my I was I couldn't see what I was going on. I'm like, man, it got to a certain point where if someone were to do something, I would die. Yeah. <laughs> so when we walked through the first night with our eyes closed, 
I, I said like right here, I'm like, if, if something were to pop out here, mm -hmm. I would die. Yeah. So we put the flash cracker there. Yeah. That's wired all into this central room, which we have another drop panel. I'll go drop panel. And then an actor is gonna, uh, wears like a, like one of those light up purge looking masks. Yeah. yeah. I got one off a of Wish for seven bucks. Nice. And it works just as good as the expensive ones. For me. Now how do they know someone's coming? They can hear them. They can hear them. Because they're probably like, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, do the do the little light leaks, like from just the lighting that, you know, if the moon or whatever, do, first, does that yeah. does that help people, like, kind of see we the way through? A little bit, but we did, you know, like, you can kind of tell we went back and added little stuff everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the mask they use. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, but it's, though it's it was such a cheap little mask that I think our actor now does, like, a puppet sort of thing. But yeah. Yeah. Do that with it because you can't see anyways. <laughs> right. And so yeah, the whole the whole hub. So they hear the um, the crack the flash cracker and then they wait like maybe ten seconds and then they do the drop. Yeah. And then there's like a little like, oops, a little light in here for the actor. Um, <laughs> so they can see what they're doing and then the sound is all ran here and uh, the little button for the flash cracker is just right up here. Just oh, that's that. cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this maze only needs one actor. So. I mean, if we had That's more cool. actors, we definitely would fill. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they control a fog machine for this room when we get over there. And do you guys uh, have like a conveyor belt that drops the food down to the actor <laughs> from your mom's station? If well, they... like it, Sean is the one who kind of is working in here every yeah. night, so he'll like climb up on this panel and he'll like, because I'm working the high tree door, he'll be like, Zach, bring me chips, and then drop back down. That's cool. <laughs> Scary. This room uh, was Zach's idea. It's inspiration from a hunt we went to in Texas. Cutting edge haunted house in Texas. Um, they we were walking through their maze, and the only thing we didn't do was paint the walls white. But it was a blackout maze, and then you walk, you open a door, and all the walls are white, and it's dense fog and a slow stroke. Ooh. And yeah. it's, it was maybe like a ten foot wide hallway, so you literally just can't feel anywhere. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that'd be cool to do just with a the fog machine and strobe light idea. Yeah. So we have a strobe light and this room just gets pumped with fog. So it's like, oh, as soon as your eyes might get used to the darkness, yeah. Yeah. you come in it's just this bright, oh, yeah. thick fog that you can't see through. Right. Okay. Um, and then the actor can also get another little scare if they want scare. to from there they go in Okay. <laughs> that's really cool, you guys. Yeah. And that's a, that's a little fog machine. Yeah, that's all you, it yeah. Oh yeah, and it, it, it packs this room. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Our dad got those when he went to go get the uh, fire retardant. Yeah. They were going out of business, like this company in San Diego, and yeah. so those were like on clearance for like twenty bucks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and they're Chevys. Yeah, they're American yeah. DJs, like or yeah, Chevys, and we were. Our dad was like, right, "Is that good?" We're like, "Yeah, yes. that's the best. Yeah. It's really good." <laughs> Do you guys put a scent in it too, or we're kind not of really. out of scents, so. No, not this year. I know a guy who can hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> now I see why you guys were like in so many videos going, well, we're building more wall panels or we're building more wall panels. I mean, yeah. I kept thinking to myself, dude, they got to have enough wall oh, panels trust by me, now. I felt the same. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Zach's like, well, I, I counted and figured it all out. Oh, so I no, know that no, the, the, the... And yeah. he's like a man, man. Then we're here. And yeah. oh, do you want to tell him what we did? <laughs> so... so. They, Zach and John and Sean are setting up the first wall, and I, I get here afterwards, and I'm like looking at the map. We're about to start the blow mold room with the side with the drop panel that goes in the actor corridor. Yeah. And I'm like, too, too far to turn back. And so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no. And so they added a whole extra four feet, a whole extra wall panel in the length, which messed up literally everything else. Yeah. Okay. So that's why like the drop panel or the blow mold room uh, goes at an angle. That's why the laser swamp's four feet wider than it needs to be. That's why uh, oh, it's always four feet longer. Um, so we had to compensate by just like angling wall panels, which made it look cool in the it end. It looks but, way like, better. Yeah. But then it's like, oh shoot, like now we're not gonna have enough wall panels because we had the exact amount we yeah. needed. And yeah. then I just added an extra panel every time a hallway goes that way. Which yeah. Which is like eight of them. So, yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh no. But it, it turned out to be a cool thing because then we, on the fly, got to like make these creative decisions on, well, but now we have the opportunity for this room to not be a perfect square. It can go diagonal, it can go this way, and that's why, the maze look a lot that's why it's all funky kind of up there and more squarey back there. That's cool, man. Well, I'm glad it worked out. You definitely have enough wall panels.
Well, if we want to add a third, we got to start yep. buying and building. There you go. Here. Thank you guys so much for letting us walk around and check out your awesome haunt. This is fantastic. Why don't you tell us when you guys are open for the rest of this 2019 season? Okay. We're open Fridays and Saturdays till the end of October. Uh, tickets are $15 for two mazes and are available at oerm.org slash terror or if not available online, um, at, right at the gates. Now you guys are also online. You guys do YouTube, right? Yeah, we're the so, YouTube. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you guys, where can we find you on YouTube? YouTube.com slash The Bloodshed Brothers. That's across all Girl. platforms. Awesome, you guys. Awesome, thank well, you. Well, thank you very much for you walking us through and giving us a tour. Where'd the girl go? Where'd the girl go? Let's go find her. <laughs> <laughs>